This episode of the Fastlane Truck is all about figuring out how efficient is the new 2018 Ford Expedition Platinum Edition when towing a 7,000 pound trailer on our 100 mile highway towing loop. But it's actually more than that because Nathan and I just three days ago did this loop and it was very windy, about 40 mile an hour wind with 60 mile an hour gusts and we did not get a good result. Today, it's a perfect day. So I wanna redo this test and that's coming up right now. What's more efficient than towing? Is it a brand new 2018 Ford Expedition with a twin turbo V6 or a GM SUV with a big V8? Well, considering that both of them have the 10-speed automatic transmission, that's a hell of a question. Well, let's hook up our 7,000 pound trailer and find out which is more efficient. Okay, now according to the specs from GMC and the owner's manual, we're going to use the 91 octane premium fuel. Yeah, that's the price I figured it wasn't quite in all the way or something. Is okay. that a gallon? That's 30 seconds. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's going to this capitalist thing. It's kind of convenient. I just don't like it on vehicles that drive on dirt roads or get in the mud because that can still be on there. But anyway, that's the, that's the future. Let's get on the road. Okay. We're running these tests using the exact same procedure as always and we've been running this MPG loop for about three years now. 70 miles an hour with the trailer, tow haul mode always enabled when we're towing, setting the cruise control and forgetting about it. 98 miles total. The computer says 11. Let's see what the pump says. 91 octane once again. 10.7 even. <laughs> That's not gonna be 11 MPG. Let me calculate real quick. Okay. 98 miles divide by 10.7 even. Yeah. I'll be darned. And the computer was off in this. Yeah, that's weird. Hmm. As we do for every highway MPG loop with a trailer, this cargo made from CM Trailers is loaded to 7,000 pounds. So we compare this run exactly against the other SUVs and trucks. Under the hood of this Ford Expedition is Ford's latest 3.5 liter EcoBoost twin turbo V6. But because this is a platinum edition of the SUV, the rating on this engine has been turned up to 400 horsepower and 480 pound-feet of torque. The engine is backed up by a 10-speed automatic transmission and because this SUV has a towing package, the rear axle ratio is a 373. The Expedition and the Yukon actually require high octane fuel, 91 octane, for best performance. So let's just use that. Capless. <clears throat> Same method, right? Same method. So we're going to fill it all the way up. It's going to click. We'll time it 30 seconds to let everything settle. Then we'll squeeze one more time until it clicks. And that's what we do with every single vehicle we do this loop with. All right, dude. So here's the big question. Um, we got to reset the MPG meter, the trip meter. And we'll reset that. Boom. And we'll compare what the trip meter says to what we get at the pump. The biggest question is Ford versus GM. Yep. Aluminum versus steel. Twin turbo V6 versus big V8. Which one is more efficient at towing? 
7,000 pound trailer. But these two are remarkably similar in price. Yes, they are. The Yukon was about 80,000. This platinum version of the shorter expedition, actually, uh -huh. is just over 81,000. Funny thing, both have 10 speed automatics. Yep. And different tuning, completely different tuning. But they were originally developed together. Yeah, co developed. The number to beat is 9.15 MPG. Hmm, I think it might. We're always in tow mode, but at 70 miles an hour, actually, the tow mode doesn't matter that much. Right. Because at those speeds, actually on a flat highway, there is no like grade shifting that's enabled. Yeah, our 100 mile loop, which is actually technically 98 miles, yes. um, really is flat. Um, there's a slight dip on the way out and a slight rise on the way back. Well, it's as flat as we can make it. Exactly. Yep, so exactly right. Same loop. Yep. We just get on the highway. Hit 70 miles per hour. On the cruise control. Right. Max speed is 75. But we usually sit in the low, slow lane at 70, and that's what we've done with all our testers. So here's our trip meter showing 6.8, huh? Yeah, that ain't no bueno because we started hitting a nasty headwind. So. Yeah, well, let's see what the pump says. Dude, the conditions worse. The wind really picked up. I don't know what to say. We don't control the weather. Now it's real world conditions. Okay, so the wind actually picked up in a big way. Yeah, I'd say the, the gusts are between 60 and 70 miles per hour on the highway. So let's do the calculation okay. the way we have it today. Yeah, yeah. So 98 miles divided by 14.853 gallons, which is what the pump showed. Yep. By the way, we use the same pump. Yeah, exactly. So we tried to keep everything square. Uh, 6.6. .6. Wow, that's actually pretty much what this said it was. So how about this? Um, how about we do this again? You might be asking, but Andre, why are you doing this test by yourself? Where is Nathan? Where is Mr. Truck? Where is Roman? All of those guys are actually out of town and we get these test vehicles from the press fleet for about a week and they have to return this expedition in about four hours. I added a little bit of extra ballast to the trailer to compensate for the fact that I'm here by myself. I'm not saying that I want to replace all the other guys with center blocks, but maybe I am saying that. All right, well, let's go to the pump and see how this MPG loop does. Check it out, guys. Ram is still testing the 19 Ram 1500s, Rebels, Limiteds, and also Jeeps. Okay, I'm using 91 octane. Same procedure, wait for it to fill up. First click, then wait 30 seconds for the second click. All right, roll topped off, let's go. So this is a very interesting test. I think because it's the brand new 2018 Ford Expedition, it's wind versus no wind, it's Ford versus GMC, because we ran the Yukon Denali XL with the same trailer on the same loop. How's it gonna do with no wind? Well, let's find out. Wanted to measure exactly the sound level in the cabin while going 70 on the highway. So let me do that really quick. 63.9, that's remarkably quiet. I'm talking to you at about 80 decibels. So guys, this highway has wind socks on it for truckers. And as you can see, barely a touch of wind right now versus crazy winds that plagued us last time. Much better.
Okay, I'm back at the truck stop. The trip meter is showing 8.8 .8 MPG. I was actually expecting something closer to like 8.5, 8.4 because this expedition has a towing package with a 373 rear end. So I was actually um, thinking to myself that the result on this will be less than on the GMC Yukon Denali with a V8 and 10 speed because that truck had a 323, a more favorable fuel efficiency uh, rear end ratio. We'll see what the pump says. Okay, 91 octane again. I wanna get the final number, finally. I'm thinking 8.5. 30 seconds to top off. All right, 30 seconds. Well, that was a sizable top off. 11.749. Okay, so let's do a quick calculation. 98 miles divided by 11.74. is 8.34 basically rounding to 8.3 so i was a little bit closer i was thinking like 8.5 so what about wind versus no wind well that's a huge difference nathan and i got 6.6 .6 mpg with winds between 40 and 60 miles an hour and i got 8.3 with almost no wind that's like 32% difference, that's enormous. So, if it's a really windy day and you're trying to get a big trailer somewhere, maybe you should try to wait, if you can, um, because you'll be using a lot of fuel.